Hey guys, today I'm going to show you eight different ways to do a round kick. So here we go. So the first way is going to be with just your front leg. So all your back leg does is pivot and then your front leg comes up and just gets the round kick out. So this is going to be pretty much the fastest way to just get a round kick out. So you're here, back leg pivots, front leg kicks. One more time, back leg pivots, front leg kicks. Your second way is going to be with your rear leg. So this is gonna take a little bit longer than your front leg because you have to get it around, but you're gonna have more power with it. So you really have to think about turning your hips over. So if I'm here, you just do rear leg kick. So your front leg pivots, your hips turn over, kick. One more time, front leg pivots, hip turns over, and kick. Your third way is going to be a skipping kick. So this is gonna cover your distance. So your back a little bit further, your back leg comes forward, you skip forward and kick with the front leg. So you're here, skip, kick. Again, you're here, skip and kick. One more time, you're here, skip, kick. Your next one is going to be a sliding kick. So this is also gonna cover some distance, but it's less distance than the skipping kick covered. So you're gonna push off your back leg instead of pushing it forward like that, you just push off of it like this and then do your round kick. So you're kind of far away, just a little bit out of range and you push and kick. Again, this back foot does all the work, you push it, don't drag it along behind you. Make sure you're up on the ball of your foot and pushing. So you're here, push and kick. One more time, push and kick. The next one is a low high. So you're going to try to make your opponent drop their hands down to block the low kick so that you can hit them with the high kick. I obviously can't show you this with Bob because he doesn't have any arms. But imagine that your opponent does have arms and you're gonna try to kick them in the body. They're gonna block down low and you have to get that head kick up super fast. So the way to get those kicks going fast is to keep your knee up. If you kick low, and then you drop your knee, you have to pick your knee back up to be able to kick high. So you wanna keep your knee up the whole time. So you're here, low high. One more time here, low high. Your next one is going to be doubles. So you're gonna go one, two. This is more of a cup kick because it's coming up at an angle, but I'm gonna include it in this round kick anyways. So what it is, it's all on your hips. So you wanna think about your belt knot going from one side to the other side. So as soon as this leg hits, your belt knot has to go to the other side and get that other kick off. So you're here, one, two, again, one, two, one more time, one, two. The next way to do it is a tornado kick. So whatever leg you wanna kick with, you put it in front, you cover a little bit of distance on this kick, or you can do it in place, whichever way you wanna do it. Most people cover distance though. So you're gonna be here, your back leg steps behind you, around, and then it's just a rear leg round kick. Here, that's the easy way to do it. And then once you get the steps down, you wanna do it in the air. So you're here, again here. One more time, this back leg comes around. The last way is a spinning round kick. So this is not very common at all. I've actually only had one instructor ever try to teach it to me, and I don't know, he might have made it up, because I've never seen it since then, but I thought it was kind of cool. And if you could really get it down, you could catch your opponent off guard big time. So you spin like you would a spinning side kick or a spinning round kick, so you're spinning to the back. So you're thinking, oh yeah, that doesn't really work for a round kick. So you have to kind of get past your target with your knee, and then come back with the round kick. So like I said, it could really catch somebody off guard because if you're spinning that way, nobody's gonna really think a round kick is coming. You're here, spin, boom, round kick. Again, you're here, spin, kick. One more time, spin, kick. If anybody lands that sparring, let me know. All right, so that was eight different ways to do a round kick. If you have other ways that you like to do round kicks, comment it down below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.